When we read the early history of Magadh, we find that in most history books, the early history of Magadh begins with Bimbisar. And we are told that it is from the reign of Bimbisar that Magadh became an important power. Now, we all know that before Bimbisar, there were definitely rulers who had ruled Magadh. So why did in our history books, we find that the history of Magadh starts with Bimbisar? So in this video, we are going to talk about why in history books, we find that the history of Magadh starts with Bimbisar. So to answer this question, what we are going to do is we are going to look at three different sources. So we are going to analyze the Puranic sources, the Buddhist sources and the Jain sources. So let's first start with the Puranic sources. So when we look at the Puranas and even in Mahabharat, we can see that for them, the region of Magadh is quite important. And for the Puranas especially, we can say that the Puranas are obsessed with Magadh. We can say this because when we read the Puranic chronology, we are told that eight dynasties ruled Magadh. We are not only provided with the names of kings, but we are also told how long these different kings ruled. This is quite unique because when the Puranas are talking about Magadh, it is only then we find that this much detail has been provided. For no other dynasty or region, we find that this much detail has been provided by the Puranas. So that is why we can say that the Puranas are literally obsessed with Magadh. So when we look at this Puranic chronology, we are told that the first ruler of Magadh was Brihadrat. Even Mahabharat tells us the same thing. Now, most of us have not heard the name Brihadrat, but I think most of us have heard the name of his son, whose name was Jarasandh. Now, we all know who Jarasandh was. And according to the Puranas, Jarasandh ruled Magadh for a thousand years. And the dynasty of Jarasandh came to an end when the last ruler of this dynasty, whose name was Ripunjaya, was killed by his minister. And that is how, according to the Puranas, the dynasty of Jarasandh came to an end. Now, the minister who had killed Ripunjaya did not become the next Magadhan king. Instead, he appointed his son Pradyod to become the next ruler of Magadh. And that is how the second dynasty of Magadh came into being. Now, according to the Puranas, this second dynasty of Magadh ruled for a total of 138 years. And we are told that this dynasty came to an end when the Mahajanpad of Kashi conquered the Mahajanpad of Magadh. The ruler of Kashi during this time was Shishunag. And with the conquest of Magadh, Shishunag established the third dynasty of Magadh, which is also called the Shishunag dynasty. Now, Bimbisar was the fifth ruler of Shishunag dynasty. So this is what the Puranas tell us about the early history of Magadh. But in this chronology, there are some major problems. And this problem has to do with the fact that most of these names which you have heard were the names of later Magadhan rulers. For example, when we talk about the name of Brihadrat, Shishunag, all of these rulers ruled Magad after Bimbisar. So that is why some historians argue that the authors of Puranas have confused the names of early Magadhan rulers with the names of later Magadhan rulers. So that is why we cannot trust the Puranic chronology. So if that is the case, let's look at the Buddhist sources and see what these sources has to tell us about the early history of Magadh. Now in the Buddhist sources, we see that Bimbisar plays an important role. This has to do with the fact that Bimbisar lived during the same period when Buddha was alive. So when it comes to the Buddhist sources that talks about Bimbisar, we find that there are a number of sources that tell us about the history of Bimbisar. And particularly, we are going to look at two different sources. So the first text is a text called Mahavamsh, which is a Pali text. And this text was composed in 5th century AD. So this is not a contemporary text. And according to Mahavamsh, we are told that Bimbisar became the Magadhan king at the age of 15 and his father was a Senapati. But Mahavamsh does not tell us about the name of Bimbisar's father and about the early history of Bimbisar and his dynasty. We also have no information. 
so we have to look at a another buddhist source this text is buddha charitam of ashwaghosh and according to this text bimbisar belonged to hayanka dynasty now this is the only fact which ashwaghosh tell us about bimbisar there is no talk about early history of magadh and the early history of hayanka dynasty itself now some scholars have also tried to look at the jataka stories to know more about the early history of magadh before the accession of bimbisar but the problem with the jataka story is that we do not have a chronology of magadhan rulers so that is why we cannot rely on the jataka story so let's look at the jain sources and see what the jain sources tell us about the early history of magadh when we look at the jain sources we find that there are no contemporary jain source about bimbisar as well but there is a 12th century text by Hemchandra Acharya which is titled Lives of 63 Great Men and in this text we have some information about Bimbisar so according to Hemchandra Acharya Bimbisar belonged to Vahika Kula now most of us have heard the name Vahika and in the Puranic sources and other sources Vahika is used for the Punjab region so it appears that according to the Jain sources Bimbisar traced its origin to the Punjab region and according to this text we are told that the name of Bimbisar's father was Prasanajit and he established his rule in Magadh from the region of Punjab so according to the jain sources bimbisar was originally from the vahika region or the punjab region so this is what the jain sources has to tell us about the early history of magadh now as all of you have seen that these different sources whether we are talking about the puranic sources buddhist sources or the jain sources all of them have different story to tell us and it is this fact which makes the job of historians difficult because most of these sources do not agree with each other and that is why most historians find it difficult to write or to make a chronology of the rulers who came before bimbisar although the puranas does provide us a chronology but as we have seen that the authors of puranas seems to have confused the names of early magadhan rulers with the later magadhan rulers so it makes quite difficult to know about the early history of magadh we have to wait for new evidence to come up to know about these forgotten kings who ruled magadh before the accession of bimbisar now if you want to know about the history of magadh from the reign of bimbisar please watch this video thank you for watching